There's nothing like a good hot cup of coffee, unless it's a container with cold coffee. And <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Robertson, the manager of Cold Press Coffee, uh, actually the press coffee people, yes, sir. multiple locations in the valley, is going to explain why it is that people are going crazy about cold brew coffee. Tell me, Andrew, you're the authority. It's all about the cold brew. Uh, over the last few years, sales since 2011 have gone up 500% across the country. Cold brew is hot. Uh, as the temperature goes up, once we cross 100 degrees in Phoenix, cold brew goes crazy. Uh, so our sales kind of flip. Hot drip coffee all becomes cold coffee. Uh, now the biggest difference here, we're talking about a 20 hour brew on this product. So we roast the coffee, we grind the coffee. It's all this Brazil right here. We're looking for peanut butter cookies. We roast it in a super special way to bring out these really nice notes. And then we grind it and we brew it at our roastery for 20 hours. Extracted, it has no chemicals, preservatives, heat treatment. It's super sanitary, brewed like beer, and it'll last for 60 to 90 days, kept cold. When you say we at Press Coffee, you're talking about an organization that began right here in the valley. That's right, that's right. Our first location, uh, this is our 10 year anniversary actually. So 10 years ago, we started up north, uh, at City North, and then we relocated to Scottsdale Quarter. We currently have seven locations around the valley, south all the way to Chandler. All right, but cold brew wasn't invented here, was it? Uh, it was not. It was a, it, it's like all things complicated past, uh, but it was originally founded and started to serve as a portable cocktail product. So you could use a base of coffee in like a martini, and you wouldn't have to brew a shot of espresso on the go. You could just bring cold brew. Uh, okay, and, and I don't have to be sold because I like it already. Yes, sir. But there are an awful lot of folks who are saying, I don't understand. Why is it that I can't just have iced coffee? What's the difference? Well, the biggest difference is we are 20 hour brew, so we get a lot less acidity and a lot more of the good coffee stuff. So you get a lot of caffeine. It's easier on your stomach uh, and you can drink less of it if you like, but it's a lot smoother tasting, super chocolatey, little peanut butter, and it does really well with dairy. There, and there really is a, a decided difference in taste. Oh, absolutely. It's, a, it's almost a heavier bodied. Um, as we brew it, we don't filter necessarily, and we don't want something that's super watery. So it's between a concentrate and something watered down. It's right where it needs to be at the golden ratio to give you a what we like a tuning fork on the tongue. But see, all right, now we have tuned everybody's tongue. And that means that they can only have cold brewed coffee if they come to press, which is a pretty wise idea on your part. But most of us start the morning with our own coffee that we make at home. That's right. So you can make cold brew at home. It's very, very easy. Um, I'll show you real quick. So we have a little pitcher here of water. As far as ratio goes, uh, we're going to do one ounce of coffee to 10 ounces of water. Can you do it in a minute and a half? Ooh, not today. Okay, here we go. All right. Start. So. Coffee goes in this little mucilin bag here. Yeah. Pre-ground, if you come into our stores and buy our Brazil, we'll grind it at the right setting for you for cold brew coffee. All right. So this goes into the bag right here. Super easy. So I've got eight ounces already weighed out. You're doing pretty well so far. Thank you, sir. So this goes in, tied off. Now this is what I do at home. This is it. Where do I get the bag? You can purchase these online. You can make them yourself. And if I tell you a little secret, you honestly don't have to have this either. This makes it easier. If you don't have the bag, you can brew and then filter through your old existing coffee setup. That sounds a little messy. But this goes in. It can be. It's not yeah. too bad. And if, if this is too much for you, you just have to come see press. <laughs> That may be the easiest thing to do. How long did you say that the brew takes? Let it go for 20 hours. You can put it in your fridge or on your countertop. Just keep it covered. And if it's under, let it go more. If it's over, take it off sooner. Okay, so Dad's doing cold brew coffee, and you hear, Honey, is the coffee ready yet? No, I've got another 12 hours. And so actually one of the best things to do, right? Yes, sir. Easiest thing to do is what? Come to press coffee. How many? Seven. Seven, and they all started here in the Valley of the Sun. Press Coffee, the whole name is though. Roasters. Yeah, and that's what they do. Cold, hot, it's really good stuff. See you in a minute.